everyone and welcome back to more Rhapsody Musical Adventure with me, your host Rabbit. As you guys can see, I decided to just off camera for the purpose of saving time, come back to Salsa Volcano on my own. Uh, but I guess before I even talk about that, just to recap our previous episode, we made it to the kind of center part of the volcano itself and we ended up seeing Crodia fighting one of the guardian dragons. We thought she was in trouble, so we decided to intervene and kill it, which turned out to be a really terrible fucking idea. And Crodia herself even chastised us and basically was like, what the fuck? Why would you be so impulsive and kill this beautiful creature? So we felt really guilty and went back to Red Hot only to find out that the villagers had felt motivated by us coming in here. And as a result of that, they themselves came back and killed the other dragon. So we did end up spawning an egg and we recruited a new party member. His name is Flair. You can see him right there on the screen in front of Karuru and Cornette. Um, and anyway, after recruiting him, uh, or his egg anyway, Crody ended up saving us because, you know, the volcano was erupting. We had destroyed both of the dragon guardians and now the volcano is unstable and that's pretty bad for the inhabitants of Red Hot. So um, after we escaped, Flair kind of sprouted, if you will, from his egg and joined us and um, as I told you guys, his quest pertains to coming back here. So I decided off camera, because I needed to get him levels anyway, I was just going to bring us from Red Hot through the volcano on my own and then bring you guys back with me once we are here. So nothing had spawned. I had just fought a bunch of creatures and I just made it to this screen and this is what popped up. So let's actually get on with what is going down. So Cornette says, Flair, what's wrong? Oh no, it's like another dragon thing. So yeah, anyway, I never went through this myself because as I explained in the previous episode, towards the end, I somehow missed the opportunity to come back and do this. And so I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna go back now and see if we get the chance to recognize his dream or make him happy, whatever you want to label that. And it looks like it worked. I literally just walked through, um, nothing changed, all the enemies, oh my god, are the same, but this might be a little bit bad. We've got some tough, some tough cookies in here, and I don't want Flair to die, but what's cool is I got him to level 6, as you guys can see, um, I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> And yeah, his heal isn't too great right now, but okay, I think what I want to do, damn it, we're so close to being able to do our flan attack, I'm going to blow my horn again just to get that up, and we'll kind of leave Cornet here in the front. As long as I don't fuck with Flare, I really don't think the enemies should pose too much of an issue for us. Someone should level up anyway. Oh, and as you guys can see, I also was fucking around with my salamander to get his levels up. But I have Duke because he is a powerhouse. And I knew if I was going to be trying to get Flare and my new monster up, I should probably take it upon myself to have a puppet that's going to do some mega damage. So let's just do another flan attack. I know you guys have seen this one uh, recently, but it's all I have enough to cast. And I want to get rid of these things, so. But it looks like this is it. I think we, we bested them, guys. And he's definitely going to die by Duke's sword, so. There we go, and holy shit, that's a lot of Enodium. We are gonna have so much money to afford a lot of upgrades. Flair actually does not presently have anything equipped, so I need to hook him up with some stuff. All right, that looks like another fight. And yeah, I don't know what, whoa, what are these? This could be bad. Great, and now I don't have the option of doing this again, but I'm gonna put Cornette kind of up at the front. She has so much health because her levels are so much higher than everyone else's. Because I can't swap her out, and oh my god, I hope it doesn't petrify her. It would be really bad. Okay, whew, close. And wind, I wonder, what what is there? I think that's grass, right? Yeah, it is. But you know what, I, I don't want Flair to, did I just end it on accident? I did not mean to do that. Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. 
Duke will be able to take him out. Yeah, between Duke and Cornette, I'm not too worried about it. And I think, honestly, our Salaman should be okay. Maybe not, actually. His health is kind of low. But I do want to kill this one. Just to get him off the map so we don't have to deal with him. And yeah, because Cornette has a nice... Uh, accessory equipped, I don't remember what it's called, but it reduces her physical attacks or the physical attacks that she takes from enemies uh, by half. So they deal half damage to her, which is really, really nice. All right, we're just gonna leave it as these two. I think between the two of us, Duke and Cornette, we really should be okay. So yeah, I guess I never said this at the start of today's recording session, but it is the 15th of June at 10 55 a.m. I've been up for a while, uh, but I got up this morning and I made myself a little breakfast and kind of read a little bit just to unwind. I had to work yesterday, even though yesterday was Saturday, and that was not cool. Next week is going to be equally stressful, so not looking forward to that shit at all. At all. My boss is just repeatedly proving to me that I cannot respect her and I am just ready, ready to be done to tell you guys the truth, which is terrible because I've only been there now for three months. Um, I think this marks the third month that I've been at this research facility. And it's not that it's a bad work environment, but my boss just pisses me off. She's so selfish and she makes the worst decisions ever. So as an example, I'm supposed to be off on Tuesday, but she's still requiring me to drive 45 minutes to, woohoo, Flair learned a new spell called Trick Win. But I have to drive 45 minutes, ooh, and we got a drop, a tiger's paw, that's cool. I have to drive 45 minutes to where the facility is because it's not in the same city that I work in. Let's go, says Karu. Sit there for one hour to listen to a stupid meeting and then drive the 45 minutes back. So I'm literally only scheduled to be there from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Ooh, a white wind. Those are beautiful on Tuesday, even though it's supposed to be my day off, which pisses me off because in the past when there have been meetings on, um, like let's say we were doing a Monday meeting and someone's off that day, she doesn't require them to come in. She just has them on speakerphone and we do kind of like a conference call. So it's totally, totally bullshit. I'm, I'm livid, to tell you guys the truth. Like, there is nothing that is okay about this shit. It just, it infuriates me. Ooh, Flair does quite a bit of damage. And I'll just go ahead and, I'm really nervous about my salamander. Especially since I just caught him, let me just move his ass to the back. But we will put Duke again front and center to chop this white wind up. Yeah, no worries. I think we've got this down. But I want to try to get Cornette's horn up a little bit more. So I think... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Cornette and... Or not Cornette and Flair. Duke and Flair should be able to handle these white winds. So anyway, just to wrap up my rant, it's not cool. And I asked her, like, can I just be on call and you guys call me when you do the meeting, I don't think it's fair that you should expect me to have an additional 30 minutes of driving just to sit for an hour meeting. Like that's really not cool at all. But you know, what can you do? You can't, uh, you can't make people not fucking stupid and she's just one of those people that... Uh, I don't know how to even describe her. And it, it's weird because she's not a bad person, but she's just caught up in her own stuff and her own life to the point where I don't think she's really in a place to be worried about what's going on with anyone other than herself. So she just found out that she was pregnant mm, a couple weeks ago. I think this is week seven. And trust me, she has announced it numerous times and lets us know when she's going to the doctor and how every appointment has been, which is fine, you know? Like, I'm happy for her. I hope she has a nice, healthy pregnancy and no complications, no pain, no morning sickness. Like, that is what I sincerely want for her. But I also don't want her to use this as an excuse to be a bitch, <laughs> which is what she's kind of been lately. So that has been a major pain in my ass, and I'm not appreciating it at all. But anyway, <gasps> hey, it's Flair's parents. All right, guys, so it actually worked. I don't know what just happened. Did his soul just go with his parents? I'm so happy that you found your parents, Flair. 
I'm happy for you too. I know what it feels like to miss your parents. Yes. So I guess that's it. Like, that was Flair's quest. Um, I don't know if it really made any major difference for him, but his soul is free now. And he's not a puppet though, so I don't think he's gonna have the same situation where, oh, let me go ahead and heal Cornette, where his spirit leaves, like he's a living creature, kind of like the monster. So I, I don't know what the game is trying to do with that. But anyway, we got a tiger's paw, which increases offense by 10, which I don't really need for Cornette. I think I'm going to actually give it to Duke and then Flair. By default, you're going to inherit Duke's cat's paw. I think that's a pretty good, good way to do this. And guys, so that makes two puppets for us whose dreams we have realized and slash uh, spirits we have freed. So that's really good. We did Elkoons. That was just kind of an automatic part of the story when we danced with the prince and got all that shit taken care of. So that's really fantastic. And now we did flares, which is cool for me because I've never um, successfully completed his before. I forgot about him when I played this for you guys publicly the first time. And then when I played it again off camera on my own, I don't think I ever even knew that you had these specific quests. So that's just kind of how it goes. But anyway, I want to buy a couple I want to get two more teleporters and I also before we even go to the suspension bridge and dick around with that and I actually didn't end up writing that shit down which is really bad of me we go ahead and save we're gonna go back to mother green and there's some shit to buy we've got quite a lot of enodium now so I want to stock up on some things that I've been eyeballing for a while I think it'll be really nice I don't remember what it's called but it was like 12 grand in Nodium. Well, you guys will see shortly. And I do need to sell my bird anyway. I should probably sell the other one too. Um, where is he? Not Mermaid, Firebird. He's level 10. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to ever use him. A part of me is apprehensive to get rid of him though. Ugh. No, I need to not do this. Just commit to a rabbit. Goodbye, Firebird. If I need you, I'll come back and catch another one. And I just want to see how much is my mermaid worth. Eh, not too shabby. What about the salamander? Whoa! That might be a good indicator as to which creatures are going to end up being really good to have. Like, do you see how much he's worth at level 10? That's what the firebird was at too, and he wasn't nearly this much. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's see what we can buy. Genius cap. Intelligence plus 20. Sadly, we can only afford one. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. That might be a really nice way of... Oh, hmm. Agility and defense. Uh, I think I want Charte to have this, honestly. So that it, instead of the thinking cap, let me give you the genius cap. And then what's left? A regular thinking cap. Which I might just give to Flair. Just so that he has a couple things on him. And we'll run back up and see what's in the other shop. And then I think we'll go ahead and call this a video. We'll probably end up ending like a minute or so early compared to previous episodes. But I think that's okay. Um, we ended up doing Flair's side quest, which is really nice. I'll grab... Let me go ahead and just grab three of these. So we're broke, and just while I'm thinking about it, let me grab another teleporter. Those are pretty handy. So okay guys, I will off camera just kind of determine who gets what and how I want to divvy up the new trinkets that I just now purchased. So when we come back together on the next episode, we will go to the suspension bridge and we will lower the bridge. But before we actually take one of the paths, we had looked on camera that one of them, I believe, takes you to White Snow. And the other one, I think, takes you to Oasis. So we're not quite ready to go to either of those locations. We're actually going to go back to Blue Cat first. But you'll get to see all that together when we come back. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Rabbit, and this is my playthrough of Rhapsody, a musical adventure. I'll see you guys in just a moment on the next episode.